So this is it. The final bake-off. I put an egg somewhere, yes. Hold on. I just achieved an amazing achievement. I was looking for my tripod to film this event in my lounge, holding an egg in my hand at the same time as I carried the tripod through a busy atmosphere. It was extraordinary. Such dedication to skill, wielded with absolute aplomb by experts in the field who know exactly what they're doing and exactly when to apply demonstration of knowledge in the field of technology. Under a divine sky of witness to God and everything all glory. We have this. This is excellent. Excellent. Everything is A-OK. But that's always a sign of danger in the prophecies of the Bible. So just worry about everything being awesome. Because once everything is awesome, that's a sign of the apocalypse. As long as everything is shit, it'll be great. <laughs> Makes no sense, the Bible. Depends how much you've looked at it, really. But that is true. Right. I'm going to cook this egg. This is incredible. I, had to, I, had to, I can't remember how this started. No! Bugger! Bugger! <coughs> I cocked it up. I didn't get any yolk. Yolk down. 21 7 echo 4 4. I'm pissed off and I'm ready to fly. No one steals my egg glory. And I won't make the joke. Because the last time I got that high. It was about 1996 when I split India accidentally in the fifth dimension in an eastern temple after feeling like Luke Skywalker travelling back from John T's house where they had a cutaway image of the Starship Enterprise of specific scientific detail of quite considerable regard. So here we go. We're making crumbs. Crumbs galore. Crumbs galore in the glory of a witness. Every smoke of chips is a miracle. Right. We have to do this. Ow, ow, ow. The essence of your chips is not the miracle, darling. The essence of the chips is... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Shut down our systems. Shut down our systems, man. Oh my god, we got fucking those smoke rods. I'm going in. I'm going in for the long plane. No one can tolerate it. No one can tolerate it with me. The pressure. The sheer pressure. Can you take it? Have you been to the hell zone, baby? Have you been to the hell zone, baby? I don't think so. I think you better be thankful and grateful for the rest you have and the psyche of the memory of the knowledge that you have with painless, beautiful, rational, intelligent existence fluctuating even still to these modern days of internet shenanigans. We are timeless, we are true, we are eternal, we are wonderkin. We just need sometimes eat food and get on down. You know what I mean? Right, let's do this. Oh, no, not quite. I like my egg and chips and egg and toast. Perfect. Perfect like the rump of a Spanish maiden's thigh as she desires me of her knees for carnal plenty. But that is just a, a dream. Fantasy, if you will. Some may say it's a fetish to love thy woman. But I say no. It is natural to love thy woman. A fetish is when you want to sodomize their socks or something. It's really weird. You know, it 
They could have done that. I mean, really crap. Really crap. Anyway. Alright, here we go. This is extraordinary. Meaty goodness. Oh, there is extra butter. Blessed is the Lord. Blessed is the Lord. Upon this night of multiple goodness. Yes. Ow. The egg. Hopefully. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, fuck. Please apply the egg with goodness. Apply the egg with goodness. Apply the egg with Fuck me. Right, it's all good from David to the bay. Piece of onions. I'm out of here, everything's. No, no, no. Oh. No, nothing's under control. Everything's completely warped. Because remember, oops, it is a biblical prophecy. As soon as the people of Earth think that everything's under control, according to the Bible, when everything is fine, that's when the apocalypse kicks off. So let's give our thanks to all living in a state of PTSD recovering terror from the almighty perspectives of what could possibly occur in our vicarious horrors. And just give thanks to God being an outside witness to our personal innate struggles of whatever knowledge is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We've all got this. We've all got this. This is cool. I mean, don't worry. Yeah, I got this. I got you all, baby. I got you all. I just need a fork. Now, for survival experts out there, what you may not have noticed is that due to the lack of forkage in my kitchen presently, I was found with a bit of toast happily, and some egg cooked by me, and so instead of employing a fork due to my need to eat sustenance and not die from starvation, I considered in an emergency situation folding over the toast and eating the blessed edibles like a sandwich. That's good shit. Well, good.